obviously it's a tough season to do last year with injuries. How, how's the body feeling? Uh, it's feeling good, thank you. Yeah, it's, it's feeling good. Um, took a little bit of time over the summer to um, get everything right, but uh, yeah, no, it's, it's all feeling good and looking forward to the season. Yeah, obviously it's you know it's never ideal being injured, but you know, did you get a chance to to rest mentally as well? Because it's been a hell of a you know last couple of years for you, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's been a, it's been a busy couple of years. Um, yeah, it, it was it was a chance to to rest in a way, but. Um, I think it's, uh, it's being injured is a, is, a, is a tough place to place to be. Uh, I'm trying to get back back on that field, so I think it's a bit of a different uh, mental challenge uh, to compare to to playing and to rugby itself. So um, yeah, it's it's just it's nice it's nice to be to be back back on the field of the boys and and, and back ready to play. Yeah. So when when you're injured and you can't do much, how how do you sort of how do you spend your time? How do you sort of keep yourself sort of you know sane? I suppose. Um, uh, it's, it's it's tough really. It's um it's not much. Sometimes there's not much not much you can do, especially in the early stages of uh, early stages of of injury. Um, you know, be, being being on crutches and stuff. So I'm just uh, just thankful in a way of uh, of uh, of uh, my family looking uh, look, look, <coughs> looking after me and helping me uh, get get around on crutches. But um, no, it's uh, it's a tough place. But I was lucky in a way. There's a good bunch of boys in the in the return to play uh, at the time, and we we just made sure that. We we had a, had a lot of fun in, in in that group and of course a full credit to, to and then thank you to the to the physios and SSCs to to get in get in get me back fit and get all, all the other boys back back fit as well. But no, it was a it was a good group in there and it was, it was good company. So we just made sure that you know we, we had a little bit of fun uh, in the in the injury group to to make sure that um, we uh, we enjoyed it and came back on the field. Yeah, good stuff. Good to see you back. Anyway, um, okay. Um, Osprey's captain this season. Um, that's obviously obviously a big honour. Yes, yeah, it's it's, it's, a, it's a massive honour. Um, you know, there's you know, there's been been been, been great players in, in the past who've who've been captain and and, uh, and 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 learning from tips over the last couple of years. And obviously, <coughs> tips are still going to play this this season and, and still still learning from this season as well. But yeah, it's uh, it's a real honour to, to be named uh, captain. And um, there's plenty of leaders and and and. Uh, you know, lead, leadership uh, players within within the group as well uh, that um, help out massively. Yeah, obviously, um, there's, there's going to be a lot of change at the Ospreys. Um, well, you could argue not as much change because obviously Mark staying on and stuff. But obviously, Toby leaving at the end of the season. How how did you sort of react to that news? Obviously, it was a shock for most people. Yeah, yeah, it was a it was a, bit of a, it was a shock. Yeah, obviously, um, but uh, yeah, you know, we've just been. It's, it's been been thankful for everything, but we've got a season now where we want to give uh, give a good send off for uh, uh, for him and, and and play the best that, that we can play on on that field. Uh, as thank you. Yeah. So uh, how um, how big has Toby been for your career and your sort of development? Oh, he's he's been he's been brilliant. He's been massive. Um, thank, <laughs> thankful for him bringing me over to the to the Ospreys. Um, uh, what was it four years ago now? So. Yeah, I remember when I first uh, first met Toby in down in down in St Helens at the time, and yeah, I spoke to him and <clears throat> you know and everything that he said and, and that, he, that he wanted and just uh, you know enticed me to, to come over and and convince me to, to to join the Ospreys and yeah, I'm thankful for everything and obviously the uh, you know he's helped me along along the way massively and and get into get into the um, high level. Yeah, um, obviously the Ospreys did well last season, uh, making the playoffs. Um, presumably that's the that's the goal again this season to um, to get into that top eight. Yeah, definitely. Uh, it's it's going to be a goal to to try and uh, try and do the same uh, this season. You know, we we um, we enjoyed getting getting uh, to that level last year and and in the playoffs in in Europe. So it's another you know they're the targets that we we want to get to get back into get back into both of them uh, this season, but. You know, we're gonna to have to take it week on week and try and get the performances. Uh, uh, performances, uh, no. Yeah. Um. Obviously, I really concentrate on the Ospreys at the moment, but I'm sure mm. you know you 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 got Welsh ambitions as well. Um. But what do you make of Wales last season? Obviously, not not great results wise, but perhaps you know there's a there's a lot of positives in terms of younger players uh, getting blooded. Yeah, definitely. I thought there was a there was a lot of positives uh, last year, and and felt that as as the year went on, there was a lot lot of growth as well, and. You know, great to to see a lot of the younger players, you know, coming through and have and having that experience. And 
you know obviously watching the games felt like there's a couple of games where you know we could have been we could have could have, could have won in a way so yeah it's just uh, having them experiences and, and and learning and growing as, as as a squad and yeah it was, it was, it was good to see yeah for yourself um I know it's out of your hands, but it's, it's the Welsh Cup and see something that you want back as well. Obviously, you did, did a good job in the World Cup. Is that is that sort of a target for you? Um, I, have, I haven't really thought thought much about it, to be honest. I've obviously, in the World Cup, I shared it with Dewi and um, I thought that uh, felt that both of us worked, worked well together in the in the World Cup. And and I thought Dewi had done, done an exceptional job uh, in the summer and so the people said that he's, he's done a great job. So... Yeah, I think uh, yeah, Dewey's Dewey a great captain and and uh, just support him. Basically. Yeah, just uh, finally for me, obviously, it's a, it's a big year for you know for, for rugby in general with, with the Lions to at the end of the year. You are, I, I know you're concentrating on the Ospreys, but most people you know would would have you sort of in their Lions team or close to it. Is that is that something? Is that a target of yours? Is that something that you know that is in the back of your mind that you're targeting for the end of the season? Um. I try not to think. I try not to think too much about it because, you know, I haven't. I haven't played much rugby since since the end of the World Cup uh, last year. So, you know, in, injuries 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 can happen, and you know, without you know, without playing for the Ospreys and performing for the Ospreys, we wouldn't get to to a higher level. So, you know, my main focus now is just to get back on the field and play with the club and play with the boys and try and get the results and performances that uh, uh, the best that we we can and and. Yeah, you know, if if they go well, you know, it's just see just see how it progresses. But obviously, there's a high competition, um, you know, both in club and country before even getting getting there. So I'm just hoping now to have a run of games with with the Ospreys and just just see how see take it one step at a time, one one week, take it from week to week and see how it progresses from there. But uh, yeah, as I think without uh, performing the Ospreys, uh, well, that's that's the main job first. Yeah, so just one final question, obviously. Uh, Justin Tipperick would be um, going to defence coach next season. Um, you you obviously played with him for a few years now. Um, people say he's like a coach on the field. I mean, is that is that the case? You know, presumably it'll just be a, a seamless transition for him. Um, yeah, I think it'll be a, a an easy transition uh, for Tips. Yeah, he's um, been able to play with him over the last few years and and, and learn from him. He's he, he, he's, he's brilliant and, he, and he's a he's a great leader and yeah on on the field he uh, he does make people's job job easier sometimes he's uh, he tell he tells you where to be and uh, and uh, where to be especially in defence sometimes and just the communication on the field both on on and off the field is is uh, is great and um, yeah it's just been brilliant to be able to learn from him and carry on carry on learning learning from him as well this season and yeah looking forward to. It. Great, Jack, and good luck on the weekend. Jack, I'm intrigued as to what uh, Toby said to you or promised you when he was trying to lure you away from the Scarlets and come over to the Ospreys. What uh, you know? What what was he? How did he sell it to you? How did he pitch it to you? Um, he just spoke about you know the you know what he wanted to. Uh, you know where where he wanted the Ospreys to go and the future of the Ospreys and what, how he's seen and he also said about you know he didn't see back row really as a as a as a number um, he just wanted sometimes like the three three best back rows on, on the field at the same time so whether that was two open sides or or not um, you know and that was a that was a, you know uh, one attraction to there to to come to come here to to the Ospreys because um, <clears throat> you know sometimes in you know, sometimes they only play six, they play seven. They just specify and just play in the, the position they were supposed to play. But he was, he was a had a big philosophy and you know best best players on the field and and just trying work around that. So yeah, that that was a big one as well. And obviously, you know, coming over and having the opportunity to play with Tips and learn from Tips. Um, you know, Dan Lids was here. Uh, Dan Lidd was here at the time and. You know, he's he's been an excellent player in the past, and you know, Alan Wynn was here as well. So there's a lot of um, players here that I could have learned from as well. So yeah, it's a, a big attraction to come over. Because quite a few players, uh, you know, T- Toby certainly helped, hasn't he? Bring quite a few players through the regional level and have gone on to play for Wales. He was talking earlier about when he arrived and 
uh, um, Gareth Thomas was like third choice, Lou said, and they worked on him, and Duncan obviously worked on him. He, can you sort of talk about the impact that he's had, you know, on bringing players like yourself through and developing <clears throat> developing them on for, for international rugby? Yeah, he's, he's had a massive impact, as, as it shows, you know. He's helped a lot of us, and a lot of us have, uh, have, have, have gone on a little bit further with... Uh, you know, over the over the last couple of years, and also a lot of the youngsters who've come through and played uh, played for the club, um, and yeah, it's full credit to, to him and, and all the other coaches as well. Um, you know, uh, helping with the individual extras after training and uh, just setting up little targets on where all of us can improve as 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 players to try and get try and get the best out of us uh, for the weekend and for the team.